Yeah. Mr. Chicken. I went through a lot of ups and downs in life. Good times, bad times. But I learned in order to get success, you gotta do it by your damn self. I don't need no help, no assistance. I'm on my own. Sports. It's in the game. Rachel from the San Diego Chargers. EA Sports, it's in the game. <laughs> Matt, NFL 2005. Oh no, we back at it with another Black Line production. I want to thank you guys for watching my video right now. And if you're new, I want to thank you for stopping by. As you guys see, this is another episode of my throwback series. And I'm showing off my favorite Madden of all time. The Madden that got me into it. Mad 2005. Hope you guys had a good Saturday night. Hope you guys were real safe and responsible. Me. You know, I just went out with my friends. We bought a little bit because of the nice weather. Got some Rita's water ice, man. It is a crime if you don't get yourself some Rita's water ice in your lifetime, man. But as you guys see, we showing the rosters of Mad 2005. And we showing my favorite player of all time, Ed Reed. 97 overall. Looking at his stats right now, man. 25 years of age that time. Only two years pro when this game came out. And he had a catching of 80 overall. That means he was catching everything, man. But as you guys see, we show, you know, stats of Clinton Porter. It's another really good running back, man. I think it's real important that I show you guys, you know, the rosters from 2005 because this was definitely my generation, you know. Like I said before, this is my favorite Madden of all time. This is the first Madden I ever owned. The first Madden I ever played was Madden 2002, which when Dante Culpepper was on the cover. But I really didn't understand the game of football too much, you know. Literally, I was just pressing buttons, to be honest with y'all. But as you guys see, we're looking at the old school Pittsburgh Steelers. Look at Ben Roethlisberger right here. This was his rookie season. He don't even have an image, man. He was 79 overall, man. But who knew he would become the great player that he is today? And that's coming from a diehard Ravens fan. I definitely respect the Pittsburgh Steelers. As you guys see, Hines, Ward, Plexigo, Burroughs, Antoine, Randall. I remember all them guys, man. They were all really, really good players. But as you guys see, we show the Texans right here, man. And this is a young, young Andre Johnson. Only one year pro, only 85 overall. But as you guys see right here, man, we showcase the greatest Madden receiver of all time, Randy Moss, man. 99 almost everything. 99 speed, acceleration, jump. Being. This dude is a freak, man. Randy Moss is definitely one of the greatest wide receivers to ever play the game. But as you guys see right here, man, we just look, take a look at all the best quarterbacks at that time. We see Peyton Manning, Steve McNair. I didn't even know Steve McNair was that good. I always knew he was decent, but I didn't know that. But as you guys see, we show the one and only Tom Brady, the quarterback that's filled with a lot of controversy right now, but he is still a Hall of Fame quarterback and one of the best. But you guys see right here, we show my man Donovan McNabb. I was a Donovan McNabb guy, and honestly, yo, I was a huge, huge fan of Donovan McNabb. You know, I really wish he played for Baltimore, man. I really felt like he would have got a championship if he played for Baltimore Ravens, man. You know, Kyle Bowler just kept getting injured and injured and injured and injured, and it wasn't his fault, but I felt like McNabb did the best with the receivers he had, and he's definitely the best quarterback in Eagles history. I don't know if McNabb's going to make it to the Hall of Fame, but he played like a Hall of Famer, man. This guy was a really great quarterback. But as you guys see, we show Brett Favre. Shout out to KDG. He He's a huge Packers fan, Brett Favre, the Hall of Fame quarterback before Aaron Rodgers, man. Brett Favre is one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. You know, he had a cannon like of an arm. But as you guys see, we look at the best wideouts of the game right there, man. Marvin Harrison was amazing, man. We look at T.O., Torrey Holt, Hines Ward. Chad Johnson, a.k.a. Chad Ocho Cinco. This was before he changed his name to Ocho Cinco, man. You know, he was a pretty good stats, 93 overall. He was 6'2 and only three years pro at the time, man. Chad Ocho Cinco or Chad Johnson was definitely a problem on that football field. But as you guys see, we're looking at great players like Isaac Bruce, Armani Toomer. But we show my man, my favorite wideout of all time, Steve Smith Sr. Only three years pro at that time, man. Look how young he was, man. But he was still a beast back then. He's still a beast. 
beast now, man. This dude was definitely a problem. As you guys see, look at a young Antoine Bolden, only one year's pro at that time, man. You know, he played for Arizona at that time. But I just really wanted to show you guys the stats and the rosters of that time, of this era, this generation. But as you guys see, we're showing the presentation right now, man. This is my franchise move. I'm going against the Cleveland Browns in the week one game. In Cleveland, Ohio, with the wind temperature to 59 degrees, 50% humidity, and pretty fair temperatures, man. Definitely a really good game. Definitely hope you guys do enjoy it, man. I really like, you know, Mad 2005 because, you know, like I said, it was the first Madden that I owned. And, you know, Ray Lewis on the cover, so my favorite football team was Grace, the Madden cover. So it was definitely just a good time for me. You know, one of the best things about this Madden was the franchise mode. I love playing franchise mode back in the day. I remember I used to have my friends come over and we would have a franchise mode and he would only stay for like a couple hours. That's how much we loved it. I'm not really into it that much these days because, you know, the online factor, it takes a lot of accountability. And with my schedule and stuff like that, I'm not the most responsible person in the world. I'm be honest with y'all. So I really don't join online leagues and stuff like that and online connected franchises and stuff like that. You're also going to notice. You know, I made a trade for Steve Smith Sr. You know, like I say, he's my favorite wideout of all time. And at that point, you know, the Ravens, we didn't have the best wideouts, you know, that we do now. So I traded to get Steve Smith, you know. So as you guys see right here, this is the last second of the game. We throw this play all the way down to Steve Smith. He gets a touchdown, man. I'm going to show the instant replay just in case you guys missed it, man. I Hopefully you guys enjoyed this throwback game, man. Just like I said, this is my favorite Madden of all time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys played it, man. And until next time, keep God in mind at all times. I'm the Black Lion and I'm out.